Good morning and welcome to web for everyone who's in person, everyone who's attending remotely. Again, thank you very much and welcome to our uh, sustainability and ship design conference. Uh, my name is Bradley Golden. I will be one of the or I'm one of the organizers and will be uh, shepherding us through the day. Um, what I wanted to do was just start off just with a few words, uh, primarily just to tell you how we started this out. Uh, about two years ago, uh, I, I was approached by one of our alumni, uh, Carl Persak, who is a yacht designer in the New York City area, uh, very passionate about sailing, very passionate about using, the, using natural propulsion for all types of vessels. Uh, and, and he introduced me to two gentlemen who had just recently started an organization called Wind Support NYC, uh, Laurent Corbel and Laurent uh, Apollon. Uh, and these gentlemen asked me to take part in a podcast, Hoisting the Sail. Uh, and then they interviewed me for the podcast, uh, asked my opinions, asked me about web, how, how we're focusing on uh, sustainability issues, uh, and, and you know, where, where I thought that the, the future was headed. Um, well, I, you know, and, and in, in the podcast itself, uh, I, I explained that we're in a transitional time. Uh, right now, we recognize the impact that uh, our industry is having on the environment and on our society. Uh, and it's going to take time to, to minimize that impact and, and change the industry, change the way we, we approach shipping. Uh, and there's no better way to start that change than to promote sustainability in shipping. Uh, so about this time last year, with their help and with the help of Marin in the Netherlands, we held our first conference, Natural Propulsion in Ship Design. Uh, it was a success. We had over 200 people attend remotely. Uh, we had a number of people here on campus as well. Uh, and we were committed to doing this again. So here we are now, a year later, we now have a larger audience in person. We now have a larger audience uh, remotely. And... I'm excited about what we're going to be presenting to you these next couple of days. We're going to have presentations. We're going to have panel discussions and, and open up some discussion to the audience as well. Uh, find out what are your passions? What are your interests? What are your concerns? Uh, and so I'd just like to take a minute and just thank a few people for helping me make this what, what, what the, the success that it is. Uh, and I'll start with uh, the, the two Laurents from Wind Support. Uh, again, couldn't have done it without you, without the contacts, without the drive. Uh, so thank you very much. Um, Gilham Gayard with Marin, uh, who's somewhere out there in cyberspace joining us remotely. Uh, again, thank you very much. Thank you for all the support from Marin. Uh, again, we couldn't have done this without your contacts and connections and bringing this, this, these, these valuable speakers in. Uh, and then the web staff. Um, I helped coordinate this, but this would not have been possible without the help of Lauren Carballo, Kayla Green, Kyle Coleta, uh, Gail Marie Sajeki, and the, the overall administration, President Martichini, who will be speaking tomorrow, uh, and the support of the, uh, the faculty led by Dean Werner. Uh, so with that, what I will do is, you know, no one, all the students here, they hear me talk enough, so they don't wanna hear me talk too much longer. Uh, I'm gonna open up the floor to uh, wind support, let them make their opening remarks, and then we will begin with our first presentation. Thank you, Brad. Good morning, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, well, thank you. I hope you'll, um, you'll uh, enjoy the day. And please uh, ask questions. Uh, you're the one with the questions. We are not the one with the answers. We, we do as, a, as best as we can to, uh, to, provide, uh, to provide information. Um, yes, and Bradley, thank you for sort of reminding, reminding us this process. Uh, uh, we are both, uh, Laurent and I, in New York City, and we started about a, two years ago uh, a podcast, uh, Hoisting the Sail. Uh, really, where, where does that come from? It's, we are not a naval architect. We are not marine engineers. We, we love ocean. We sail. And from a few projects originating from Europe, we were like, but who's using the wind on a vessel? And out of 60,000 commercial ships, only a handful, maybe two to 12 of them, are able to harness the wind. So we are building offshore wind farms everywhere, especially in the US. 
but we forgot that a vessel is capable to move thanks to the wind. So that's not gonna replace everything, but we hope uh, that during those two days, uh, wind propulsion will sort of uh, pop up on the pile of your uh, thoughts on a day-to-day -day basis and, and globally sustainability, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very, uh, how can I say that? Sustainability means a lot and nothing. Uh, however, I think we have a good uh, samples of speakers those two days that will bring, uh, hopefully, uh, uh, angles on what does that mean for a ship to be sustainable, for uh, 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 the process of designing a ship to be sustainable from its early design without forgetting the end of life. I think sustainable is uh, sustainability is very, uh, very uh, um, broad. Anyway, uh, questions, don't hesitate. One, uh, two, you'll uh, hear me again uh, uh, a little later. Uh, we'll, we'll be hearing quite a few European uh, those two days. Uh, and this is uh, something that uh, we face on our day-to-day -day, uh, podcast work when we interview project owners that work on sustainability, sustainable shipping, on marine propulsion. A lot, a lot of the projects are coming from Europe. Uh, the U.S. has a big role to play to catch up one and to lead that tomorrow. And you'll be uh, you'll be the um, the uh, the one acting and running that. Uh, we'll uh, we'll start, Brad. I think with um, the first uh, the first presentation on the on the financing of the decarbonization. Thank you, and uh, you'll be hearing with from my French accent a little later as well.